I've been extra flexible for my whole life. So I've always known that there was something different about my body. I have a genetic condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. The type that I have is type 3 hypermobility. It's a collagen disorder. It affects all the connective tissue in my body. It makes all of the joints and the ligaments and the muscles and skin very loose and stretchy. So I can do things like this. So growing up I didn't know that I had a genetic condition, I just thought I was naturally very flexible. I would like sit in strange positions at the dinner table because it was what was most comfortable for me. My stepmom would yell at me, and, but instead of like elbows off the table, it was more like get your feet off the table because I would just like sit with my like, I don't know, it was just like I'm comfortable in strange positions. Comfortable in strange positions by Scarlet Checkers. Those are my memoirs. Someday I'll write an autobiography. Pretty much anything <laughs> that can happen to your body that's painful or uncomfortable or inconvenient, ADS can, can cause it. <laughs> From just walking around town, like if I just step wrong, I could just snap my ankle out of place. I actually try my best to raise awareness for ADS because it's considered an invisible disease. I was just diagnosed this past year. It was just, it's very hard to get a diagnosis because a lot of doctors don't know what it is because it's so different and manifests differently in every person. And there's no cure for it at all. <laughs> if you guys don't know, the reason that I am a contortionist is because I have a genetic condition. Type 3 Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I remember um, being really into the circus for most of my life. I remember the first time I saw a circus, and I was always really into the animals and the clowns and the acrobats. Literally everything about the circus just drew me right in. About two years ago, I started performing full time. I do clowning, contortion, and sideshow. Yeah! yeah! I'm currently in a small variety show troupe right now called The Birthday Party, and it's four of us, four girls, three clowns and an alien. Scarlett is really inspiring because she's got this crazy disease and uses it to her advantage, which is really, it's really awesome, super impressive. And I'm going to attempt to touch those two body parts together. If I can do it, I get a point. If I can't do it, all of you get a point. Got it? I tend to get some backlash from the EDS community sometimes because uh, they think that I'm setting a bad example for other people with EDS. I'm gonna be confined to a wheelchair within the next 10 years probably, but it happens. I do use a wheelchair every once in a while. Some days I just can't do anything with my body. I would really like the EDS community to um, appreciate that we are all different. So this is more than 90 degrees. Would you confirm that? Can you confirm? Yeah. My wrist is, yeah, thank you. More than 90 degrees. That's disgusting. There is a safe way to contort while also having EDS. And that really is just being aware of your own body and what your own limits are and listening to your body when it tells you, nope, that's not a thing you can do. You should have at least loosened the corset. My career goals really are um, very short term. I just want to enjoy what I'm doing and not ruin my body. <laughs> I love everything about it. I really enjoy performing, I really enjoy contortion, and I really enjoy making people laugh. Thank you.